Inside Science TV. It's a scenario former Vice President Dick Cheney feared. Someone could hack into his pacemaker and kill him. It made headline news. Scientists say it could happen. You could hack into them. Like, you know, people hack into computers, hack into iPhones. And finding a way to protect patients has been tricky. These devices are not protected per se by any passwords or any uh, traditional uh, uh, passwords. That's because doctors often need access to the data the device is stored during an emergency. Now, electrical and computer engineers have found a way to password protect pacemakers and defibrillators using the patient's own heartbeat. You are using their heart as a random number generator. When a doctor touches the patient with a device called a programmer, it picks up a signature from the patient's heart. The patient's pacemaker and programmer device compare details. If the signals match, access is granted. So we get a shared secret channel between us. Current patients don't require a new device for it to work. Good news for patients like Marshall Morris, who recently had a pacemaker and defibrillator re-implanted. I was proud of our 10-year warranty on our car, and from what she says, this should hold up about the same length of time, so it's very good. New technology that can help make millions of life-saving devices safer and more secure. I'm Josh Lebowitz, reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.